Welcome back. I'm Marcus, your host here at Garmin's training video series. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're at your best or when you may need a rest day. But don't worry, we've just created a way to help you figure out when it's best for you to give it your all. Let me introduce you to one of Garmin's new health features, Body Battery Energy Monitor. When it comes to health and fitness, knowledge is power. And success happens when you manage your resources wisely. So based on feedback from your own physiology, Body Battery delivers personalized insights to help you navigate from survive to thrive. Body Battery is a feature designed to help everyone, from the person going on their first run to the extreme athlete. And Garmin has many devices that are compatible with this feature. Body Battery uses heart rate variability, stress, sleep, and daily activity to estimate the user's energy reserves throughout the day. It records and displays a number from 1 through 100 that represents the individual's energy level. The higher the number, the more energy the user should have to complete tasks and activities. A lower number may indicate that it's time to conserve energy. The unique aspect of body battery is that it's a cumulative metric that builds a picture of a user's energy over hours and even days. The best way to recharge your body battery is to ensure you're focused on getting a good night's sleep and working on keeping your stress level as low as possible. And most people don't realize that caffeine, alcohol, or exercising too close to bedtime will actually delay your recovery. Even healthy eating, while always a good idea, doesn't directly impact the body battery metric. At the same time, energy shots or other caffeine-based drinks that may temporarily increase your alertness don't actually increase body battery. Now, just because your body battery may be low doesn't mean that you can't exercise. But remember, we said that knowledge is power. You may struggle to complete your workout, but you can probably muddle your way through. But just because you can, doesn't mean you should. You should understand the downside of banging out a tough workout with a low battery is that in the long term, your efforts may ultimately be counterproductive. So if my body battery is low, does that mean I'm getting sick? That's a great question that we're asked a lot. The occasional low energy day is no cause for alarm especially if you already have a clear understanding of why your battery may be low. Getting sick, a bad night's sleep, pushing yourself to meet a deadline, these will all pass and you'll be back in the saddle. But if you find your battery is consistently low, it might be time to start looking for areas to improve your overall wellness. We want to see you get better, and training when your body is ready is one of the best ways to make the most out of your workouts. Optimize your body's energy reserves with the Body Battery Energy Monitor. To learn more about Body Battery or to see a full list of compatible Garmin products, click on the link in the description below. Hey, thanks for taking the time to learn more about Body Battery. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to hit the like button below. And if you want to see similar videos in the future, smash that subscribe button and make sure to turn the notification bell on. For now, that's all I've got. This is Marcus from Garmin wishing you all the best. And in all that you do, we want to help you be yesterday.